Today's Port Swigger tutorial is entitled Finding and Exploiting an Unused API Endpoint. To solve the lab, we must buy a leather jacket by exploiting a hidden API endpoint. First, access the lab and log in as winner with the provided credentials, username winner, password Peter. I will also change the email just to make sure Burp catches any API requests that might be used for this functionality. Back on the home page, add a leather jacket to the cart. Or better yet, let's add two. Maybe we give the second one as a gift, seeing how it's almost Christmas. In the cart, we can see a coupon field. Let's add a coupon that will probably not work. And it didn't. Again, we are clicking everything for now. Later, we will analyze the requests that were made to the server to see if we find anything interesting. Finally, try to place the order, although we clearly have no money. Now let's go to burp proxy http history and see if we can find any API requests. We quickly see the get API products request. Send this to repeater by clicking Ctrl R. In repeater, send the request to make sure it works. We get a JSON response containing the price and the message for product 1, which is the leather jacket. Now what we want to do is search for any hidden http method that might allow us to change the price of the jacket. We can try different HTTP verbs by hand, but the better approach is to just send this request to Intruder by clicking Ctrl I. In Intruder, select the word Get and click the Add button on the right side of the screen. This inserts a pair of markers on either side of the selected text, creating a payload position. During the attack, this is where Intruder will add different other HTTP verbs. Make sure the attack type is set to Sniper, then go to the Payloads tab. For the payload settings, we will select Add from list HTTP verbs. As far as I know, these lists are only available in the professional version, so if you are using the community edition, you will have to add the verbs by hand or by loading a local file. I will leave a link to a comprehensive list of HTTP verbs in the description below. Click Start attack. After the attack is over, click the status code tab to arrange the requests by the response received. As you can see, we have a 400 response for the patch method. Click anywhere in the request tab below and press Ctrl R to send its request back to repeater. In repeater, send the request. We get an error telling us that only the content type application slash JSON is supported. We can change the request by adding the content type header by hand or we can use the content type converter extension. To install the extension, go to extensions, B App Store, Search for Content Type Converter and click Install. I've already installed it. Back in Repeater, right-click inside of the Request window and select Extensions, Content Type Converter, Convert to JSON. The extension automatically added the content type and content length headers, as well as a body containing an empty JSON object. Send the request. The received error changed. This time, it looks like we need a price parameter. Add it to the JSON and send the request again. The price must be a valid non-negative integer, let's say 10. Send the request again. This seems to have worked and now the price of product 1 is 10 cents. If we go back to the get request for the product prices and click send, we can see that the response confirms the jacket now costs 10 cents. Because we have no money, let's try changing the price again, this time to $0 and send the request. Back in the browser, remove the jacket from your basket and navigate to the jackets page. As you can see, this time the jacket costs $0. Add the jacket to the cart, or free or 10. Go to the cart and place the order. The lab is solved. This is it for today. See you in the next one.